I'm Adam Collins and this is Crick Buzz's build up to the second test match between England and Pakistan. Of course a fabulous finish on Saturday to the first test at Old Trafford. England coming up trumps by three wickets but I tell you what, what a captivating contest that was. But as is the nature of this packed schedule in COVID times, you're straight down the motorway for the second test starting on Thursday at the Rose Bowl. But before getting there, there's plenty to reflect on from the first test match and there was really no one better to have that job from the in England perspective than James Anderson 38 years of age 154 test matches he's kind of seen it all and had so much to discuss around his own bowling around the importance of this win for the team but initially he was addressing the big news yesterday which is sadly that Ben Stokes won't be participating in the second and third test match returning to New Zealand with his family during a, a very tough time and Anderson was talking about the England vice captain and just what a massive blow that is. Yeah, it's a, it is a big blow for us because he's a, um, a big part of our team, both obviously on the field and off it. Um, but obviously, our family comes first and we, we all rally around him and try and support him as best we can in this tough time for him. Um, but we've, you know, yeah, we've got two games left to play and uh, I think we'd we're, we're, be confident um, with the guys we've got here. We've got a lot of quality in the group, so whoever comes in to replace I'm sure I'm sure they're fantastic. In terms of Anderson's own output at Old Trafford, it was always going to be a talking point. He only picked up one wicket, albeit a very important one of Barbara's arm early on the second day. But in the second innings, it clearly wasn't right. And he wanted to talk about the lack of rhythm, the emotion that was kind of seeping into his bowling in that second innings. But a couple of key messages. One, he's not going anywhere. And two, he really hopes he'll have the faith of his captain and his coach at the selection table this week. It was one bad game. And I'm sure I'm going to have another bad game in my career. Um, I just don't want every time I have a bad game for it for there to be whispers going around that I'm I'm going to pack in. So um, for me, it's just about trying to find a way of dealing with that, find a way of dealing with the outside noise, uh, which I've done really well in my career. I just like I said, it's a little bit different now. Uh, no, there's not. No, absolutely not. Um, you know, it's been a frustrating week for me personally, just because I've, I've not bowled very well, felt um, out of rhythm. Um, and probably for the first time in sort of 10 years probably, I um, got a little bit emotional on the field, started getting frustrated, let that get to me a little bit um, and probably remind, reminded me of when I first started playing when you get when you get frustrated and a little bit angry, you try and start bowling quicker and quicker and that obviously doesn't uh, help on the field. So for me it's a, a case of trying to um, you know, once we get down to Southampton, work really hard the next couple of days, try and figure out what, you know, if there's any technical issues I can sort out um, and just, yeah, try and work hard and, and uh, hope that I get the nod for the next game and I can try and show people that I've, I've still got what it takes to play Test cricket. And there's some understandable frustration too from Anderson. He feels as though every time he bowls a bad spell that people are writing him off and saying his career is over. But from his perspective, as I mentioned before, 154 test caps, he can see Alistair Cook just in the distance there with 161, his old mate, the man he played so much cricket with. And, well, Anderson playfully saying he'd love to catch his old captain. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm focused on is game pass Alistair Cook. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I, again, I, I can't, still can't quite believe when you when you the number that's next to my name when uh, the teams go up on the TV, 154 does sound quite a lot of games, but I, I feel like I've still got quite a few more left in me. And I think that's got to be the, the, the focus for me is just trying to, as I said, focus on the next game, try and stay fit. Um, as has been said today, my you know last probably 18 months has been frustrating injury-wise. So, um, yeah, I just want to stay fit, keep enjoying, I think getting back to enjoying my cricket, which you know, I didn't enjoy bowling this week, but I, w I want to remember why I play the game, I enjoy doing what I do, um, to, yeah, play as long as I can. If I get past Cookie, that'll probably be the only one thing that I've got up on him, so um, I'll take it. It was clear also just how proud Anderson was of Joss Butler. So much scrutiny on his wicket keeping through Pakistan's first innings in particular, where it wasn't going well at all. But it was Butler there at the end, along with Chris Wokes, who did the hard work as senior players and got England over the line in that chase of 277. It's not easy to see because, I mean, we all know we all love Joss and we all know how hard he works at his game. And, um, it, it, you know, um, the way he works and, and how talented he is, he will. Um, 
keep keep getting better and better, certainly on the wicket, wicket keeping side of things. Um, and for me, I don't think there's anyone better in our team to be able to chase down a, a target. We've seen how amazing he is, amazingly calm he is under pressure in, in white ball cricket when he's chasing down a score. Um, and he showed that in abundance uh, yesterday. Um, the way he batted with, with Chris Wokes uh, was just, yeah, absolutely phenomenal. And um, hopefully that'll do his confidence um, wonders, really, because we're, you know, we, we as I said, we absolutely we love him in, the, in this team. He's brilliant for our for our team and the environment. Um, and he's a huge talent as well. And I think we we want a, a, a Joss Butler in our team performing his best. And in terms of England's win on the weekend, looking at it in a broader context, from Anderson's perspective, there's been a lot of frustration around the consistency of this England test team over a pretty long period of time. But he thinks this will be such an important moment in terms of building confidence and finally finding some of that consistency. Yeah, it's huge, absolutely huge. Um, obviously, the first two innings of the game didn't really go as, as planned. But to show the character we did, uh, firstly, to get ourselves back in the game with the ball and then uh, with the bat, I thought we, we went about it brilliantly and um, obviously we've, we've, you know, we've been sort of up and down as a test side for the last couple of years and we've been trying to find some consistency and uh, trying to progress as a team and I think this does, will do a huge amount for the confidence of the team and, and well both the team and, and the individuals in it um, who perform this week. So the second of three test matches starts on Thursday at Southampton. Of course, follow it all on Crick Buzz Chatter. I'll be talking to Michael Vaughan every night at Stump Centre as well as tomorrow with our preview of the test. Stick with us on Crick Buzz all the way through this series between England and Pakistan.